All right, guys, so uh, this is my review of the POF Phoenix. I have yet to shoot it, but uh, I'm gonna give you a really in-depth review of this gun today. Wow, okay, so I pretty much got everything I needed to know, uh, all the data collected. Gun rocks, I guess you should buy one. Down on the Percocet, ordered a Desert Eagle off Amazon. I ain't never going back. In Valley Ranch, ice cream cake in my front to leave. Walked along the sand dunes of the Sahara Desert for 40 days and 40 nights. With nothing but a pack of Newports and a fifth of Henny, I really do this shit. I'm starting to get real pissed off. What the fuck is Obamacare? Hey, Obama, I don't care about shit. Spun around the block so many times they thought it was fucking Minecraft. If this watch breaks, the foreign exchange market will take a 28% hit. People will die. So we have the POF Phoenix. Funny enough, there's a lot going on with this that a lot of PCCs don't have. Whether or not I like it or don't like it, we're for sure gonna talk about it, so please stay tuned. I have a lot of opinions on this thing. Before we do that, we have to thank who makes this channel run, who is the gas of this channel. It is Optics Planet. They are straight gas. That is why they're coming at you with the coupon code MICA7. Save during the holidays, go Christmas shopping, uh, go hog wild. Second sponsor, Shooting Surplus. I've said it time and time again, uh, they just did some really exciting things over there. I would I'd highly advise checking them out and using MICA7 while you're there. If you don't use Shooting Surplus and the coupon code MICA7, then you're probably too old to figure out how to use the internet. Third and final sponsor, Americana Pipe Dream. I don't really have to say much about those guys. Everybody here loves them. I love them. They love me. We have a little love triangle, which is why we have the coupon code Bussy. It used to be bussin', but too many people weren't putting the N on there, so now it's bussy. In fact, I'm just gonna take, it's not even gonna be with an I. We're just gonna straight up call it bussy now, like with a Y. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them after filming this. I actually don't know much about POF other than like back in the day, I remember watching Iraq Veteran 8888 doing like the POF meltdown, and I was like, yo, that gun lasted forever in the AR category. So then, you know, that combined with Aaron's video with the lever gun, I just wanted to check out something that POF makes. That's where my interest came in this. The POF Phoenix, what an interesting gun. It may just look like a blowback nine millimeter PCC, but there is so much more going on. Not really, it really is actually just a nine millimeter blowback PCC. Um, I don't know why I made it sound like it was like some new concept. It's a blowback nine mil. I have been doing a lot of PCC videos lately. And if there's one comment that really struck a nerve with everybody, it was hating on the trigger of the MP5. It's something nobody, nobody could handle. Everyone, <laughs> everybody was so angry. I said the MP5 is a bad trigger. I love the MP5. I have an MP5 over there. And I'm going to be showing you why I think PCCs like this, PCCs, not submachine guns, like this actually make more sense than the MP5. Let me go get it. Everyone heard the term PCC. It went in here and out the other. The MP5 is probably one of the best submachine guns ever made in the history of mankind. However, the MP5s that we can have are not submachine guns. They are simply single shot pistol caliber carbines. There's a difference between a pistol caliber carbine and a submachine gun, which is why I actually think PCCs like this make a lot more sense. I'm going to demonstrate why. That was just goofy, but my trigger finger is worn out. There we go. We have the MP5. It was not designed, it wasn't designed not to fire semi, but really this gun shines with full auto. However, this is fast as I can go with an MP5. Ah. It's not slow, but it's not fast. Ah. Look, the MP5 trigger isn't great. It's heavy, it's gritty. There are companies out there making better triggers for it, but as is, you know, it's a huge overhaul. In here, I simply dropped in a Geisley SSAEX, and uh, it rips. I wish that my finger wasn't worn out from filming that intro. I mean, I shot like damn near a thousand rounds already, I swear. Why would you ever want to own a pistol caliber carbine, a nine millimeter gun that can effectively put high volumes of round, extremely fast on target. The whole point of a submachine gun is to let her rip on a low recoiling platform. Am I wrong, Dan? No. <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I making a good point? I'm not 
hating on the MP5. It's like one of my most favorite guns I own. I can still shoot it relatively fast, but like the MPX or or the Strybog or this POF Phoenix, dude, dropping, having the ability to drop an AR-15 trigger in it makes it an extremely effective pistol caliber carbine. That being said, I did do some little bumpy boys in there, and this thing has a crazy high rate of fire, and it's probably faster if it's not just bumping, so I like that. Now, let's get into the, rather than comparing, you know, the whole category of pistol caliber carbines, we are going to talk about this specific pistol caliber carbine. Uh, my favorite thing by far, AR trigger. Uh, without a doubt, I want a spicy trigger with my PCC, and that checks that box. I'm gonna jump straight into my least favorite thing about this gun, followed by my other least favorite thing about this gun. But then we're gonna, you, uh, wait, 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 what is it, like a shit sandwich? How are you supposed to do it, Dan? You're supposed to lift it up, break it down, and then lift it up again. We, we lifted it up, we're gonna break it down, and then we're gonna, we're gonna lift her back up. I admire the fact that they made their own magazine Actually, I don't. We're gonna go talk about why I hate it. Spoiler alert, the gun is is fine. It shoots great, it's a phenomenal pistol caliber carbine. It's fast, it's gonna do everything you want. But there are other reasons that you may or may not want to buy a firearm. Uh, in this case, I'm not, I, I've gotta be honest when reviewing a firearm, this could be a total deterrent. Here we have an MP5 bag. Okay, I mean, it's su it's super easy. Here we have the POF magazine uh, that actually comes with, each magazine comes with a loader uh, and you'll see why it comes with said loader. Okay, I cannot push my rounds into the magazine and doing this, it may look like it worked for the first one, but let's get that second one in there. So you'll notice it completely nosedives that round and that round is now cockeyed in there. It works. Bad example, but I was causing malfunctions. You won't do it every time, because what would happen was, I would start to nosedive those rounds in there, they would get cockeyed a little weird, and the more times I kept doing that, yeah, you see, I don't know if you, that, that round almost went completely vertical. It's not a make or break. So the reason they included the loader was to negate that problem. It pushes the round down from the rear, so then your rounds can go in, you know, straight. But then you have to lift it up and push it back. And honestly, just like loading these mags. Is, is a pain, it, it's a pain. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pain. Um, I, I, hats off for trying to make your own magazine. That's, that's, I feel like guns are made or broken by their magazine, and uh, making your own magazine is very difficult. They made a magazine that absolutely works and functions, which is like, hats off, but kinda wish that it could use Scorpion mags, MPX mags, or any other mag that's kind of already out. Uh, there it is. So, that is the result of loading by hand. You can load by hand, but you might introduce a malfunction into the magazine. I do not like that at all, because then I have to use the loader. They do supply the loader, I get it. You don't have to go out of your way to buy it. But I could jam that MP5 mag up and get a bunch of range time down. I could probably load five MP5 magazines before I could finish loading like one or two of the POF magazines. Guys, I know you all enjoyed the uh, last video sponsored by Dirty Kid, the ATF is gay shirt. So they figured they would uh, pop back in for another one, which is, this time it is their, you know, it's the new year. It's the perfect time to do it. Buy yourself a calendar, uh, get organized. These calendars, no joke, actually rock. I'm not gonna lie. I, the, the, the photos are just, ridiculously high quality. Uh, I know how they do it, and it's just dumb how much effort they put. I'll put a link to their website. If you do want to stay organized in 2024, start with your uh, Dirty Kid calendar. So the, the, my hands are just black from how much I've been shooting and loading today, but the too long didn't read summary, you can load them by hand, 
it is possible you might induce a malfunction without using the supplied loader that comes with the magazine. Like I said, that is my least favorite part about this firearm. This charging handle uh, got in the way of a lot of things. So you'll notice that it has these bolts on both sides. When you go to rack it, it moves both sides. So you can't put a 45 degree offset light because those bolts will run into your light mount. That got kind of annoying. So then I actually went out to Arasaka and I bought another mount. And it was one that was gonna mount on top and then dangle it over. It did clear the bolts on this side, but then when I went to rack it, the charging handle was actually running into the left side of the light mount. So I couldn't mount it on the top offset. I couldn't mount it on the side offset. So I had to go back out to Arasaka again and buy an inline light mount. It is pretty much the only one that will work. I think that's unfortunate. Um, I wish that the, when you swapped it, it swapped the whole unit and didn't always have a right side that would interfere with light mounts. Does that make sense? I'm gonna touch on my last negative piece about this firearm and it's actually the charging handle itself. On most piston guns, blowback guns, you'll notice the charging handle most of the time comes straight out the receiver, like on the Jackal, the Scar. This one comes out at a 45 degree angle. Now, why is that kind of a nuisance? Again, it starts to interfere with things here, but even when it does clear, right, it's, it's not gonna hit my Unity hot button. What is gonna hit is my knuckle. And you will rack your knuckle on any attachments that you have here. So if you wanted to put a PEC 15, I don't think it would be too hard of a fix to ask POF, hey guys, since I clearly you can take this charging handle off and it's a serviceable part, you could switch it from side to side, can we make one that comes out 90 degrees? Instead of just sticking straight out, it would come out and come out to the left. I think that'd be the easiest fix and pretty much would be my only complaint then would be the mags. So I'm sure I could fix it with some sanding, uh, talk about the mags. If I'm gonna be ripping and roaring this thing, and like I said, I want my PCCs to be fast. That's like really the number one thing is I want it to be fast. If I'm out of ammo, you know, I want my mag to drop free. I don't want to have to do the extra step. So I probably could do some sanding and fix that. I don't know if it'd be that big of a deal. Now that we've, uh, you know, we're going through the shit sandwich, right? We, we built them up, it's super speedy, AR controls, uh, we, we just delivered the shit. Now we're gonna deliver the meat and potatoes of the sandwich, okay? I don't know who puts potatoes on a sandwich, but that's what we're delivering. Uh, I cannot say the capacity of these mags for YouTube reasons, but they are larger capacity than most other PCC mags out there. It's nice to have that additional five rounds than what you're used to having. Uh, AR controls, it does make dropping mags extremely nice, very convenient. Uh, AR trigger, my favorite thing. 1913 interface uh, for stocks and all those kind of things. You know, put all your SIG braces, stocks, whatever you want to put on there. Uh, AR safety, I mean, it feels right at home, nice and quick. So you do have some ambi controls. Uh, you can drop your bolt from this side if you're lefty. You could swap that if you're lefty. Uh, you can even drop your mag on this side if you're lefty. And the nice thing is, unlike a lot of ambi controls, it's actually very easy to actuate. It doesn't like require you to force and push it down. So good job on the controls. Overall, I like having AR controls in my PCC. Now, another nice thing, you do have that monolithic upper. I can mount this wherever and retain zero. Laser modules, just kidding. Can't put laser modules on it because the charging handle will run into it. So it would have been nice if that charging handle just went 90 degrees out. Like that, it, it needs that so bad. Now they do have different variants, rifle lengths, pistol lengths, whatever you wanna uh, shake a stick at, but I think they retail for around $1,600. Clearly I think that their goal here is, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, maybe competing with the MPX. If I'm reading the room right, I, I didn't talk to POF about that. That's what I would assume. P you know, MPX has come in for the ones you want, like around $2,000. So you do get to save a little bit of coin with that. It, 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 what's more important to you is, are those corks worth the additional money to get an MPX or to go with something like this? So, I mean, if you have one of these or if you were looking to get one, getting one of these, I don't think you're gonna make a bad decision. You're gonna get a gun that's, that, that runs. Uh, you know, it's gonna be reliable. It is a blowback 
9 millimeter pistol caliber carbine. If you don't know how to make one of these that doesn't eat itself alive, then I don't know how your company would still be in business. So, and uh, you know, POS been around for a long time. They've manufactured good things in the past, so I would imagine this this follows that reputation. Ultimately, I mean, this is how I would honestly run it. I do have one of the new Castle Group visor mounts. I actually like these more than the Unities. I'm going to be completely honest. I think they look a little better, and they also have kind of some accessory support and stuff like that. The reason I'm actually going to plug one of these Castle Group mounts is because they have a recoil lug here and a recoil lug here, that's two recoil lugs, and they have a nice pass-through in case you have irons. So there's nothing wrong with the unities, but I think I just have a preference for these, these castle groups. That's castle with a K, in case you guys were wondering what that was. So I made a video on a gun that shoots. Uh, <laughs> it's a PCC that works. Uh, there's not a whole lot special to say. I think they made a gun that works, and I think that's what they were going for. It's just a good, reliable, PCC. And as far as the suppressor that I was running today, it is the Wit Machine. Yeah, it's my first experience with anything POF, and it wasn't a bad one, except for loading those mags, bro. Like, loading loading those mags is, is next-gen uh, pain. So, I'm sorry for being so brutal about your magazines, POF. I am very sorry, but I gotta be honest with everybody and tell them what I like and don't like, but ultimately, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I want to hear your opinions. Is it sick? Is it not sick? Does it fit the budget? Does it not fit the budget? Would you rather get a different PCC? Are they made make or break uh, issues that I talked about? At the end of the day, I had a great time shooting it. I had a lot of fun. It was speedy quick. Uh, it was reliable. The only jams that I ever had were from hand loading the magazines without the followers. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. What else do people say? LARP in your underwear. LARP in your underwear. <laughs> uh, if you're married, um, LARP in no underwear. <laughs>